Hi guys, this is Kenya back with Kenya's Decor Corner. So today I'm super excited to participate in a challenge hosted by Christina, the DIY mommy. And this is the DIY and decor organization challenge for 2018. And so I am so excited that Christina is hosting this challenge and it's been so much fun to participate. So I will encourage all of you guys to go over to Christina's channel and check out her video and also check out the playlist of all of the other participants in this challenge. So as you can see today, I'm going to share with you guys my organization for my kitchen cabinets. And we're starting here with my upper cabinets where I have um, items here for my family. So let me show you what I have here. I'll first start by saying all of the baskets that you see were purchased at the Dollar Tree and the little tags that you see here uh, with each basket being labeled were picked up um, from the Target bullseye spot. As you can see that here, they were $1 and it has um, eight tags per package and they are the chalkboard tags. So you can write on it with chalk and then wipe it off if you need to, as you can see that there. So as you can see, I have everything labeled. This right side is uh, mostly my toddler's items, and then the left side are items for adults. Um, so we'll start here. We have a basket for my toddler's um, sippy cups and cups that he uses on a daily basis. And then, um, and as you can see here, Everything is the lids in one section and then the cups on the other side. And this basket is for his plates and cups and forks. And this one's a little bit more heavy, so I won't pull it all the way out, but you can see his plates, his bowls, his cups, uh, spoons and forks there, etc. cetera. Uh, this basket is for cold medicine, um, allergy medicine things like that there then up here we have our first aid basket with band-aids um, you know uh, triple antibiotic ointment first aid ointment things like that neosporin and on this side we have adult cold medicine Benadryl things like that and then we have adult pain medicine like um, Tylenol, aspirin, etc. At the very top, I have a basket for skincare, which is overflow for Vaseline, um, hand lotion for the kitchen, things like that. And then this basket at the very top on the right side is empty, so that gives me room to grow. So that is this cabinet, and then I'll turn around here so you guys can see how I have my plates stored so this is our everyday um you know plates that we use plates and bowls etc that we use as a family and again I i've purchased all of the um towers here from the dollar tree so the little stands those are purchased at the dollar tree and so i just kind of use them to help to organize things and make it kind of neat and so it helps for my teenagers when they are doing the dishes or putting dishes away they all know where things are supposed to go at an easy glance so that's that one I'll pan back a bit so you guys can see where we have our Tupperware and as you can see here everything is here down below I like to keep my Tupperware lids with the bowls just so that when I'm ready to grab one I can just grab it without having to search around for the lid but as you can see, I do have extra lids uh, stacked there. And I do have the Tupperware that clicks together, so they stack together and lock in place so they don't slide around, which I really like that. And then at the top there, we have our travel cups. Um, so yeah, that is that section. And I'll go over here, see back up a bit. You can look under our kitchen sink Again, I am using the baskets. I think that the baskets help to keep things organized and in place. And it also helps to preserve your cabinetry bottoms so that, you know, it's not being stained by 
uh, you know, these cleanser items, etc. So, you know, we have our dishwasher items here, things for the sink here, you know, like dishwashing liquid, um, Drano if that's needed. And then we have more um, things for the dishwasher there. So, yeah. And I also have a rack here on the side where I hang my dish towels after I've washed the dishes so that they can dry. And I'll show you this cabinets over here. This is more of like our miscellaneous area where we have um, more kitchen cleansers like my bar keepers um, and other items to clean my silver. And then I also have, um, you know, just random things that my husband uses when he's working outside or however. And then there's more baskets in the back there with um, other items. Mostly that's for my husband. Then we'll go up here, and as you can see, this is where I have um, overflow items for my coffee station. So I have extra coffee here, extra creamers, um, to-go coffee cups, disposables, you know, for our visitors if they come over. Um, so yeah, just extra items here. And as I've mentioned to you guys before, I'm probably more of a tea drinker than I am a coffee drinker, so you can see my tea collection there and let's see here we will go on over I'm going to show you guys where I have or how I have my uh, pots and pans stored so as you can see here this is where I have all of my pots and pans and I've used the same well these are a different type of plate holder but I did get these from the dollar store also and I use them to stand up my pot lids so you know I want to make sure that I can find my lids easily um, and that they don't get broken so again when my kids are doing the dishes and they put things away they can clearly see where they need to go and all of the pots are stacked within each other according to size and then all of my Frying pans and saucepans are also stacked on this size according to their size. And then we'll move over to this cabinet. This is where I have all of my baking items. So my other um, like cookie sheets and things like that. Uh, my colander. And as you can see up top here, I have the larger um, like cookie sheets here or a glass bakeware that I don't want to get broken so I have those items at the top and on this side I have items that are kind of oddly shaped so they're just stacked there at the top but again everything is I'm using the plate stands from the Dollar Tree to organize everything so that everything's in its place standing up so it's easily accessible and I'll move over to this cabinet where I have my roasting pans, which they're just stacked on top of each other, and my blender there at the back, and my slow cooker. And this might be different for some of you guys, but I like to keep my spice rack um, down here in the cabinet just because, um, you know, I want to reduce the amount of clutter that's on my countertops. So I just have that here along with the salt and pepper shaker. So when I need it, I can pull it out easily, but otherwise it's stored away right there. <clears throat> Excuse me, then I'll pan back here a bit and show you guys this item where I have all of my small appliances. So as you can see here, these are items like my other blender, that's like a personal size blender, um, toaster, waffle maker, um, can opener, and then some other items here at the top. It's kind of fun items there. And then I will pan up and show you guys this other upper cabinet, again with my baskets, where I have, um, where we store lunch bags, um, saran wrap, aluminum foil, plastic bags, and then this section here, is where when I'm making my smoothie in the morning or a protein shake, this is all my protein items here. And that's why I have the personal size blender 
down here so that you know everything's kind of right near each other so this is my workstation in the mornings when I'm making my smoothie or my protein shake and then this white basket is white because that those are items for me for my hair so um, I as I mentioned before I will be doing a video soon on how I do my henna treatment so in this basket it is my henna and other items that I use to make the henna alrighty guys that is my kitchen organization I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and uh, if so please be sure to click the like button and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you will receive notifications as to when I upload more videos and Again, thank you, Christina, for hosting this challenge, and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.